It's a day to honor heritage and celebrate the patron saint of Ireland because today everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. I'm Christine Persichetti with this current news update. The St. Patrick's Day Parade down Fifth Avenue in Midtown Manhattan got underway with people from all walks of life celebrating Celtic culture, faith and traditions. Current News Jessica Easthoff was there and has more from the parade route. Today, people everywhere look to the longest running and largest St. Patrick's Day celebration in the world, right here in New York City. The day started how it always does, with mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral. A grand day for New York City, for America, and for the Irish diaspora worldwide. More than 2,500 packed the pews and were reminded that long before his name was synonymous with parades and parties, St. Patrick was a slave and a great evangelizer. And that's what brought him back to Ireland, to the place where he was enslaved. That brought him back with this uh, conviction that people needed to know about Jesus and about his friendship. After mass, as the pipes and drums set the tone and thousands marched down Fifth Avenue from the old to the young, to the furry. Those who lined the streets during the iconic celebration found common ground. We stood here in the rain and the sun and the snow and the sleet, but we've always come to the parade. It's my favorite day of the year. It's just really cool to see all the different types of green and to see if they have the flag. Though today the patron saint of Ireland gets his recognition, it's the Irish immigrants who laid a foundation of faith and helped build New York City that had people beaming with pride and wanting to welcome those coming now. You have to put yourself on the other side of the, the fence to, to see what it's like. This is a country of immigrants. Look what we've done in the past 200 and something years. Imagine what we're going to do in the next 200. They celebrate this um, parade and St. Patrick's Day. It doesn't matter if they're not Irish or not. So whether it's your first time or your 30th time at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the celebration will be a symbol of community for generations to come, Irish or not. In Manhattan, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. What a fun day, right? The celebrations won't stop for Bishop Brennan since every Irishman knows that Irish pride continues through the whole month of March. Bishop Brennan has also been chosen to be the Grand Marshal at the second annual Lindenhurst St. Patrick's Day Parade. On Saturday, March 25th, the bishop will lead the march in his hometown, which includes hundreds of Irish pipers, drummers, dancers, organizations, and so much more. Current News and the Tablet will be there to see the bishop kick off the parade of Irish pride. So be sure to stay with us for continuing St. Patrick's Day coverage. But how much do we know about the man behind all the parades? Well, the tablet broke down everything about the life and teachings of St. Patrick. So if you want to learn a bit more about your Irish roots or maybe read about a man known by both Irish and non-Irish alike, be sure to pick up a copy of the paper at your local church this weekend. We're already learning more about the everlasting impact of St. Patrick from the streets of New York to the Emerald Isle. The president of the Irish bishops, Archbishop Eamon Martin, is an expert. For all the Irish people, it's a great day to link up with the Irish all over the world. St. Patrick's really a saint for the whole world. In fact, I read somewhere recently that apart from St. James the Apostle and Our Lady, there are probably more churches dedicated to St. Patrick throughout the world than any other saint. And we're very proud of that here in Ireland, of course. He added that St. Patrick is a saint of modern day because he spoke out against human trafficking, which is still very relevant in parts of the world right now. Changing cultures now, Sunday Italian Catholics will get to display their pride for St. Joseph's Day. But before then, hundreds of Catholic school students honored the member of the Holy Family during the St. Joseph Art Contest. Students from 1st through 12th grade put pencil and paintbrush to paper and depicted St. Joseph and fatherhood for a competition held in conjunction with the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph, the Tablet, and the Knights of Columbus. More than 800 works were submitted, then six winners were chosen, taking home a cash prize of up to $500. Cards News spoke to some of the prized Picassos about their art. I was like, what can I do to kind of win this contest? So I was like, you know what, I'm going to draw Joseph holding Jesus on the night he was born, because that's what fatherhood kind of looks like to me. I'm just super honored out of like my whole high school that, you know, everyone in my class got the opportunity, but 
I'm so it's so crazy that I that I won. The rector of the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph, Father Christopher Henyu, plans to use some of the winning submissions to help create a new sculpture that will be unveiled in the future. Now let's take a look at some of the other stories making news right now. Chinese leader Xi Jinping will visit Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow next week. The dictators are expected to showcase their growing closeness and talk about the war in Ukraine. And speaking of Putin, the International Criminal Court issued a warrant against him. It's for his alleged involvement in the abduction of Ukrainian children. The ICC has no policing power, but expects the international community to enforce the decision. The parent company of Silicon Valley Bank, SVB Financial Group, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. It's the largest filing of a bank failure since 2008. And back now to our top story. Let's see how students at St. Patrick's Catholic Academy celebrated their namesake. The Brooklyn School's Step Dance Club took the stage to wow the crowd at an assembly after mass today. There was even a St. Patrick look-alike contest. This kindergartner took home the prize for her spot on outfit. So adorable. And that is this current news update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news. But before we let you go, enjoy some of the sights and sounds of this year's St. Patrick's Day celebration. Current's News is there. Our team coverage begins with Current's News. Jessica Easthope outside the cathedral in downtown Los Angeles. Thousands of people have been coming here today to pay their respects to Bishop David O'Connell. The final farewell for a bishop whose life was tragically cut short. Christ. Plus a look at his impactful ministry. That's where Bishop O'Connell liked to spend most of his time. And hearing from those who knew him best. He was always a quick yes. Yes, like, what do you need? Yes, I'll be there. Bishop O'Connell would go out and walk the streets and get to know people. I don't think we're going to have another one like Bishop David O'Connell. I was better for having known David O'Connell. When news happens, Currents News is there.